could not film breakfast here, guys. I'm outside of that little Cuban cafe um, <laughs> near the Fort Lauderdale airport. Totally jet lagged last night. I woke up, I'm like, man, I need a Cuban breakfast. So I went out here this morning. This place has amazing reviews. Food is pretty good, I have to admit, but man, problem, communication problems with the waitress big time. Uh, this happens in South Florida. Even, even with me, I do speak basic Spanish, but um, things went wrong here this morning, almost everything, basically. I ordered uh, um, cafe con, con leche, but I didn't order it correctly, and she brought me basically an espresso. Okay, had to, send, had to send that back. She didn't write anything down. Um, I wanted eggs and sausage, came out eggs and ham. Um, the toast came out like immediately, but then the food wasn't there. I want the toast with the food. Um, they do open at 6.30 a.m., which I love, so I had to send it back. So they gave me eggs and ham. I wanted eggs and sausage. Uh, the toast came back. Totally, the Cuban toast was rock hard. I had to say, look, <laughs> they sent the toast back, and oh, my God, it was just like, wow. I had almost no communication problems. and just spent a month in Finland and the Baltic countries. Everybody there speaks, like, perfect English. Here, it was, like, a little dicey. So I tried to switch to Spanish at the end because I do speak basic Spanish, but I didn't want to be insulting, and um, I don't know. The food was good once everything was corrected but i had to correct almost everything and the waitress she's a little bit of a strong personality she has a t-shirt on that says viva the fighting woman or something like that and that's kind of the way she is i could not film in there because i was sitting next to broward county sheriff so old table pulled when the walkie talkies were going off and i knew i couldn't tell the truth about the problems because it's a tiny little place but um service not so good food was good um i'm giving this place a 7.5 I'm adding points because they wake, they start, they open at seven, I'm sorry, 6.30 a.m. I like that, strong work ethic, but communication problems, waitress needs to chill a little bit and write down orders so they don't get fucked up. So yeah, 7.5. Outside the West Tampa Sandwich Shop on a Friday morning, this is you know, West Tampa Sandwich Shop. Guess where I am, I'm West Tampa. This is a, you know, you wouldn't know it just from the name, but this is a hub of this community for the, for the Cuban community of this area. I've been here before, but it's been quite a while. They're famous for their Cuban food and Cuban sandwiches, but they're also really good for Cuban breakfast. It's been a long time since I've had breakfast here. They open really early and it's pretty cheap too. Very humble looking place, but I, the food is good from what I remember. So let's give this place a chance. This place is super loud and busy this morning. I hope you guys can hear me. I might have to shout. The uh, prices are very good in here. So I'm having a plantain omelet. <laughs> plantain omelet with Cuban toast is $6.50. That's pretty good in this, day, this day and age. Other things are even cheaper in here, by the way. Small Cuban sandwich is five bucks. Used to be like $3.50 the last time I was here. Oh, it used to be even cheaper. Pretty neat, the food comes out in these little trolleys here that the waitress is at. Look at that, looks beautiful. There's my Cuban toast. And my plantain omelet. And cafe con leche. Gracias. All right. All right, looks delicious. Here we go, all right. I love these little trolleys they have there. Very good. All right, let's check this out. I love plantains and I love omelets and I love Cuban toast. Never had them as a combination before, so let's see how this goes. Interesting combination of flavors. The, the sweet plantains, you know, bring that sweetness. And then the eggs, I've never had this before. It is really good. The Cuban toast is so buttery. It is so saturated with butter. You see this? It is super good. Let's try a little Cuban coffee too. Very strong. Could use a little bit more milk, it's good though. <clears throat> 
As I said, this is kind of one of the noisiest little restaurants I've ever been to. And this is really good though. I'm making little sandwiches here with the, with the plantain omelet and the Cuban toast. This Cuban toast is so good. The plantain omelet, I'm really liking this. Coffee is a little strong for my taste. Need a little bit more milk. It's good though, I'm waking up. It's waking me up for sure. I'm here with Rex. He's a regular at the West Tampa Sandwich Hut. What do you usually get for breakfast, Rex? Usually, well, I usually have for sure Cuban coffee once in a while. I get eggs and uh, white rice or grits. Yeah? But mainly, mainly it's Cuban coffee and bread if, if I'm going to have bread. I Cuban toast? Yeah. I had the, um, the uh, sweet plantain omelet. You ever had that? Yes, but I don't like I don't like plantains in an omelet. Oh, like you don't them. like plantains in an omelet? I like them fried on the side. You like them fried on the side? Right. This place is excellent, isn't it? Uh, yes. It's excellent, this place, isn't yeah, it? Well, I've been coming for 27 years. For 26 years. How much, years ago, how much did a coffee cost here? Well, you're going down to less than a dollar, a dollar or something. Uh, uh -huh. a cup. Yeah. So as I say, I've been, it's been a couple of years since I've been here because I live in St. Pete. And it's still reasonable. Right. The prices are still reasonable, but it used to be cheap, like yeah, a few years ago. Yeah. Well, like every, Just like everything, right? Like gasoline, cars, everything, yeah. Everything goes up, doesn't it? Beef, beef is expensive. You know. What else do you like at this place for breakfast? Well, for breakfast, sometimes I have pancakes. Pancakes? Pancakes are good. Are yeah. they good? Yeah, I think they're good. Any pro tip for the people coming here for breakfast? What's your tip for them? My tip is to have a little bit of patience. If it's crowded, yep. then it's worth the money. But and the service is fast. Well, depending on how many people they have here, the service is pretty pretty good. Yep. Uh, they've gotten a new system that's probably going to improve it in the long run. So, uh, but be patient and experience. <laughs> this isn't a, a quick get in and out. This ain't McDonald's. One of the cool things I like about it when I come here is you notice that most of the regulars, they know each other. Like a lot of people who come in, been, they greet them. We've been coming here 20, 30 years, even when they were in the other location. So. How many years has this place been here? I, I think it's been here 23 years. Uh, and you've been here since the beginning pretty much? Yeah, since they were on their way down on media. You live in the neighborhood? Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the louder places too. Oh, absolutely. Because why is that? There's a lot of conversation. Lot people. Of, it used to be louder when, when there was more political conversation. Oh, really? It was really louder, yes. People used to talk politics in here? Politics, get in arguments. But now it's too depressing to think about it? No, no, they still do. But I mean, the old timers, the people my age are gone. 80, 90 years old, <laughs> 75 years old. Uh -huh. There's less people arguing. Yeah. Thank you, Rex. Okay. You see all the pictures behind me. These are all the regular customers. Just met one of them. I mean, this place is like, remember the old, uh, if you're old enough, you remember the, the, the show Cheers? So many regulars here. It's so much fun to just sit here and watch people come in, get their coffees, get their to-go orders, whatever. It's just the people watching in this place is unparalleled. The people watching is a 10 out of 10. Um, the food, I'm giving the place a 9.0 overall. The food was excellent. The only thing is, I don't like my coffee in a styrofoam cup. <laughs> I understand why they do it. It's a very, very, um, you know, busy place. I'll take it off a few points for that. I'm adding points for the good service, the excellent food, and the fact that they open at 6 a.m. These are hardworking people. 9.0, highly recommend this place. West Tampa Sandwich Shop, love it. Come here, tremendous. Todo bien.